Well, we got bugged out guy again. <laughs> okay, I think I debugged him now, or did I? That's so weird, man. Yep, he's stuck in that position. <laughs> oh, boy. His general must have been like... You're doing the position wrong! Keep it forever like this, and you get better at it. It's just like stuck there. Uh... <laughs> Why are they doing that? Okay, this guy came out of it. Go ahead and uh, parry this guy if I can. Come on. Yeah, no bueno, man. Lost connection to Steam. Oh no! My internet is gone! No matter. I don't really use it though. Uh, not for this recording, at least. Not for this playthrough. Alright, so that, we're done. That actually took a lot longer. We actually stayed in this small little zone for way, way too long. We're wasting so much time, man. I said I was gonna make this faster, and it's... It's, it's, it's not being really fast. Okay, I think I wanna trigger... Flop! <laughs> I think I want to trigger this guys over here. And if I'm good enough, which apparently I'm not, maybe force him to drop it, but I think it's way too late now. Yeah, it's taking forever. I think I'm going to do the, um, the web here. Actually, I think I remember the inhabitants of this town. They were not the warriors, they were villagers. Just like the one villager that is still, uh, Mining there in the corner. You can't see it on the screen, but it's um, it's where the bonfire is. Uh oh Still only one that is doing something here, but there used to be a lot more than that I'm Like at a barely at the bare maximum of his leech so he couldn't attack me anymore, which is kind of funny You can see where we're gonna be going into which is gonna need that you can see that but I can even see the uh the item over there. I think I know where that is. It might actually be the shard. I'll tell you when we get there, but I think it's the, uh, I think it's a shard. Let's go ahead and kill this one too. I don't want him to be dropping any boulders on me. Oh boy. So I love a name on the soldier. Hello, buddy! Wait, are these all supposed to be names, unnamed soldiers? Bam! The souls of mysterious man. I'm also kind of running out of uh, Estos flasks for whatever reason. I literally just came out of the first zone of where the bonfire is. Now, the gear fray is not gonna appear here, right? Because in New Game Plus, she just she appears here and you can attack her, and it's kind of interesting. It's a really cool mechanic that I wish they just added to the normal game instead of just leaving it for New Game Plus. I think it's really cool. She appears here and you can attack her, and uh, you're not supposed to kill her. I believe she actually runs away if she gets too weak or something, and it's also like timed. You can like run away from her and just continue on with her journey, of course, but um, if you don't do anything or if you try and attack her or whatever, and after some time she just like leaves. But it's pretty cool because whatever damage you do to her here in this stage uh, is actually taken over for the, for the actual real battle, so, you know, if you actually manage to head like, uh, take away 50% of her HP here, then she has 50% of her HP uh, missing from the actual boss battle. That's kind of neat. I don't know. It's like a two-stage buzz or something that carries over. I thought it was a pretty smart thing. I wish that I kept it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Arachnophobic people are going to have a really bad time here. Uh, Jeez, man. It's so gross. So gross. Thankfully, I one-shot them, so... Whoa! Is that dodge? Fucking spider dodge like a boss. Okay, so I'm gonna try something here that... Oh my god, never-ending. I'm gonna turn into a spider tamer here just for a sec. Ah! Back to fiends! Ah! Back to the hole you came from! Yeah! Cool. I... I've never really known what this chest is supposed to do with you. So, so it's a trap. The chest is going to activate a trap, and before, um, or I guess what's always happened is that you would, I would open the chest, 
the trap would trigger, all the spiders would come out, I would run away, and, and that would be it. Then I would just kill the spiders, come back and get the treasure. But um, now that I kill the spiders, of course, triggering the spiders is not caused by the chest, which I thought was going to be the case. I thought that the trap was the spiders would come out. But maybe something happens to me if I stay. Let me see. See? I have no idea what that does. Can someone confirm this for me? Is this just supposed to trigger the spiders from coming out? Which it does. Or did it do something to me that I can't see yet? Like a like a stat lower? See, it would show me on my stamina bar there that uh, if, if my stats were lowered. So I don't think it's that. But it has to be something, right? It's kind of weird. Uh, there's a secret door here, by the way. And uh, this is uh, the place that I was telling you guys just a little bit before. There's going to be a, an enemy here, so let's go ahead and kill it. Um, yeah, this is the uh, the item that I was saying that I think is a shard. No, no. Priestess ropes. Uh, we can wear it. I'm trying to wear as much as possible. Oh, boy. We're going to enter the congregation looking like a priest. That's hilarious. This is definitely new. Right? I think so. Oh, my God. Oh my god, they will not know what's happening. How funny would it be if they actually don't attack me like this? Like, I would literally lose my shit if that's... If that were the case. Human effigy, cool. Um, arrows, I think, are gonna be the way to go here. Let's also heal up a little bit. <sighs> Let's do this! How funny would it be? Please don't attack me. Okay, yeah. Dude, I'm here to just listen to the mass! Yeah, okay, I'm not fooling anybody. He's a warlock, he's not even a church member, a priest. Yeah, if you stay behind the, uh, the, the chairs, you have, like, some form of shield that protects you against some of those, uh, lightning rays, so that's kinda cool. I'm one of you assholes. Very select church here. Um, what do I want to do here? Woo! Right, I'm on the other side, so the, uh, the caroling guy shouldn't be able to get to me from here. At least, definitely not in time. Woo! Lightning spears, man. You have to admit, faith in Dark Souls is pretty cool. At least in Dark Souls 2 it is. In Dark Souls 1, you do get lightning, uh, the lightning spear attack, but it's... You get it kind of late. Like, actually very late. You get it in... Isn't it like Anor Londo or something? No, you need like a level of... I don't remember how to get it. Fuck, I really don't remember anymore how to get it. But I do remember getting it very, very late. And in here it's a lot earlier. Then again, I think it's nerfed in Dark Souls 2. I think it has less uses than in Dark Souls 1. But, uh... Wait. There was a bonfire here before. Holy shit, they removed the bonfire? Oh, yeah. This is one of the bonfires that I was telling you guys before that was moved away as well. Um... Oh, shit. Okay. Actually, I'm scared now. I, I only have one Estus flask. I'm kind of freaking out here. I thought it was the other bonfire that was removed from this... From... From... From this area, the the one that is close to the um, to the blacksmith, I think that's the one that was removed. This makes things very tricky, actually. All right, you know what? Let me um, when you're seeing Rex freak out in action, guys, let me go ahead and do some exploration. Oh, there it is. Wait, it was always here, was it? Oh shit! Yeah, I think I'm dumb as fuck. I thought it was down there for some reason. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Man, I was free. <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm embarrassing myself here in front of thousands of people. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was down there. Man, brain fart much. Alright. So we got like three levels here, so let's go ahead and uh, I guess do some vitality. I want to get some... Uh, I just want to be faster. I also want to be able to use whatever armor I want without having to worry about bullshit like, you know, equipment issues. 
And uh, I also want to see if this guy sells me anything new. I'm, I don't remember how many bosses we have killed before we last checked. But it's always nice to, to see the Smelter Demon, of course. We could use that armor. It's one of the strongest, uh, defensive-wise, strongest armors in the game. Uh, the Falconeer stuff, which is the guys we're currently fighting. But yeah, no, there's nothing new, it seems like. I don't know if we want to get... Do you guys want to get the Smelter? It's going to be very heavy, and oh, we need a lot of strength for that, sure? so screw that! Alright, so uh, I suppose let's go back. Alright, here we are. <clears throat> Actually, now thinking about it, I don't remember how many bonfires were changed, but I think there were just two. And it was the one with the tent that we just talked about. And the um, and the one in the crypt. So I don't think there's going to be any more changes. Oh boy, I'm going to have to do this manually. Here we go, here we go. Whoo, nailed it. Cool. Actually, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> no! Awesome. Now, this is one of those... Ooh, nice. This is one of those mesas that uh, I've never been able to to fully complete. I mean, I may have done it before, just kind of went all around the place, figuring out where the uh, oh boy, where the items were. But this has just always been an area that I just I usually never get into because it's just so confusing, to be honest. I usually just drop down into the. Uh, quicksand and then just kind of go around it but uh, this is probably the best way of doing it oh shit I was not expecting that yeah I think I got him yes nice 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 yeah the, the, the way I just took oh it's definitely the best one it's the safest one by far but uh, every other area is just a frigging maze man just a mess so try and do it my way and uh, you're gonna have an easy time for those of you having issues here cool uh, ooh. Let's try and kill this guy. Actually, I want to try going in there, too, to see if there's another entrance from the beginning section. There's a spider up there. We're going to kill that. I think they are, they're all going to drop as soon as we drop down. So if you want if you can kill them now, it's probably better. There we go. That's a lot of them. Kind of hard to see, I would say. Kind of mesh with the background. Some of them do. All right. So I want to go here and see what this is all about. Spider-Man here. Yes! So weak, man. It's so miss- Oh, God. So goddamn weak. Look how fast it is, man. The enemies can't even do shit while I'm attacking them with that. It's so cool. What does this do? Fuck, I'm so noobish with this entire area, to be honest. Um, okay. So the blacksmith, the bird we liberated, it's gonna be over there. I can break this. They usually don't drop any uh, any items, those red ones. Yeah, when I missed, uh, it's gonna be too late. Oh, got him. Cool. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So we did something with the lever, and I'm not sure what it is, but here we go. It's gonna get a little interesting here. So we're gonna have some... Oh boy, some spiders coming out of doors. Some toads that will petrify me or whatever. And there's a Spider-Man also coming out. And there used to be, I don't know if it's still there, but there used to be a phantom with a pickaxe that would come out and get you here. I wanna see if that's still the case. He would spawn as soon as you would get close to this entrance. Hmm. Kind of interesting. He seems to be gone. Why would they remove that? That is so weird. That is so weird. Another torch. I feel like they give you way too many torches when you barely even use them in the first place. And even when you do use them, you just use a flame butterfly and whatever, right? Like, it's just like completely useless to be perfectly honest. Uh, too heavy to open. Cool, cool. 
I think it would have been better if they just gave you, like, a torch in the beginning or something, and then you had to, like, fuel it with, like, humanity or some shit. Instead of just, you know, giving you torches as items and then giving you flame butterflies. It all f seems like kind of a waste. It's a weird game design they chose to go with, which is... I, I just don't approve. Isn't it funny? They actually hurt themselves by just walking around. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and uh, funnel these guys here. Kill them really quickly. Oh, we're actually running out of arrows. Oh, shit. I did not realize we're running out of arrows. Um... Uh, you know, from now on, we'll just use our claw here. Claw all the way. We're gonna switch back to our bow once we reach Freya. And, uh, I'm gonna have to fight this Spider-Man's mano a mano, though. Let me just hit here and then go back. Doesn't trigger. No, I have to open the door, I think. I'm almost positive they... They were a thing. Were they removed? I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, item. Uh, we got two items, actually. Oh, nice! Holy fucking shit! A chunk? A slab? And a large? That's crazy! It's like the best drop in the game. And actually, I was, I was worried it was going to hurt our robes, but it was not the case. Um, yeah, okay, let's let's do try and avoid using our arrows as much as possible, though I wish I'm gonna certainly wish that I could use them here. See my my whip is poison, so I don't know man as far as damage is concerned, but it seems to be working! It's working! Oh god, okay. Uh back off, Rex, back off. It's not too bad, though. It's just so nice that it actually hits, like, everyone in the path. It's like the one thing the whip has going for it. Literally the only thing. And, uh, what about this couple of guys? They're just kind of- <gasps> WHOA! Fucking Jesus. Alright. Yeah, anyways, I don't know what's up with the other spiders, though. They don't seem to- Soul of a hero! Nah! Well, what kind of hero would just die here? I wonder. Um, life. I want to save the flask. This is always a hard battle. I think there is a bonfire between. Oh, there's the pickaxe guy. I was wondering. Anyways, I think there's a bonfire between the one I took and the blacksmith, and then the boss. And I think there's an extra bonfire that I have never found before. And I'm actually. Rather curious if there is, you guys. Oh shit, I'm dead. Whew. That fucking dodge, man, nailed it. I've never be able to. F I've never been able to find that um that bonfire if there is one, and I think there is. Okay. I don't know if I can really parry him, but uh. Nah, I was hoping to kick him out, and it seems to have backfired on me. Oh, nice. Alright, maybe if I can keep him in there. But anyways, this is one of the hardest runs in this game, I would say. From bonfire to boss, because you have to deal with a lot of enemies. A phantom. Some traps. And uh, obviously all the spiders before the boss. And then Freya is not known to be one of the easiest bosses, so... Oh, nice attack. Yeah, okay, that was my fault. Kind of suck there. My adaptability is pretty good, so I should be able to dodge most things if I do see it coming. Man, my hard drive is not doing good recording. I'm sorry, guys. There's been a lot of stutters in this playthrough. I apologize. I try not to, but I don't know. I'm having some hardships making that happen. There you go. I guess I could have just comboed him to death. That's the one good thing about the claw, that you can pretty much keep an attack combo going forever. Look how long it takes before it depletes my bar. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a pretty long time. One more bone. I'm not sure. I don't think I remember how to open this door. It's locked. There's a key somewhere. Uh, maybe it's part of the trap. I think I opened this and both doors open. I don't remember. But yeah, I can pretty much keep someone stun locked with uh, with the claw for like ever, which is kind of nice. 
And here we go. I wish there was a bonfire here. Like, I wish... It just seems like such a perfectly convenient place for a bonfire, and it would have made everyone's lives so much easier, because this area is not that easy, and Freya is really, again, not that easy, so... How am I doing on arrows? So I'm not doing very good, but I think I have some extra ones. Lacerating and... Uh, and poison. I mean, I... It's something, I guess. It's something. They'll probably do less damage, though, just based on the fact that they have that added effect. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to evade all the enemies and then just go straight for the boss. Because I don't think I can deal very well with this enemies. And I'm kind of afraid the claw might just be... Like, I think the spiders are too small for me to hit them with the claw for the most part. I got, I think I got lucky in those, those two battles. Um, fuck, I don't remember where to drop here. Yep, yep. They are new. There used to be only spiders down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I'm gonna attack the boss, and then I'll come back for those items. How does that sound? Sounds like a better idea, to be honest. Am I the only one thinking that all those spiders could have just attacked me together and <laughs> that would have been harder than the boss? <laughs> yep. The Duke's Dear Freya. I don't want to say he's one of the hardest bosses, but he's definitely up there. I mean, anything, it's... Harder by comparison when you just fight the congregation, so <laughs> Congregation is I, I think it's the easiest boss in all of Dark Souls and Bloodborne history. I would say It's not even like a boss really it's much as just a group of assholes that just want to pretend to be a boss Yeah, this is again one of those bosses that become uh, Well, I guess easy with arrows. I mean, look at this. This is trivial. <laughs> it's really... I mean, it, it, you do have to know where to be and where to stand. Or, I guess, more specifically, where not to stand. And if you get that, I mean, it's really just a matter of fucking shooting, I guess. Sadly, uh, her uh, mandibles to the side will protect her from, uh, from some attacks. You can see that. Yep, sometimes it doesn't work. That time it did, but... Especially if you're using a, um, a horizontal striking big weapon like a, like a broadsword or, or like a claymore or something. This boss can be a fucking pain in the ass because just by trying to hit her in the mouth, you accidentally hit the mandibles to the sides and it makes your weapons bounce and pretty much uh, makes it so that she takes no damage. One of the most annoying things to be fucking frank. Also, if you're using any other techniques, like if you're, especially if you're being melee, uh, you should always try and alternate attacks between the two mouths. I know that I'm making it kind of hard to tell, but this boss actually has two mouths. <laughs> one where his butt would be is another mouth. And uh, you're supposed to attack one face and then go and attack the other one. I'm not going to really worry too much about it since, again, it's going to be an easy boss battle because of my archery, so I don't think I'm going to have issues. But for the most part, you should definitely do that. It'll make it a lot easier for you. For one reason that... See, I don't know if I should do this... This is my issue when I make this Dark Souls videos. I don't know how, like, if I should be, like, just have fun, be entertaining, or just, like, try and be instructional, because I'm sure that a lot of you have already seen this before. But his head collapses, which makes him go on a rampage, and I think makes him more aggressive. It might. I don't think so, though. I think it's just that rampage that he goes into. Oh, boy. Let's run away. But yeah, the fun thing about this boss is that if you do, however, uh, destroy one of the heads, you can use the head as a as a football. See, I'm trying to get to the head, but he's turning with me. You can see the head just kind of rolling around, which is hilarious. I'm not going to, I guess, play until after the boss, because it's actually affecting me negatively. I feel like the one thing that made this boss too easy is the fact that he only shoots that laser from the one side. He always starts... Oh boy. 
my bad. He always starts from the uh, from my left, which is very easy for me to uh, to evade if it's always the same side, which makes the battle a little bit monotone, I guess. All right, we're gonna do the last blow with the whip because reasons. It's how we've been torturing her entire family. So, wait, I think he can survive another one, right? Yeah, cool. Might as well just torture the mother, mother with it as well. Um, the head should still be here. Oh boy. <laughs> Back! Oh my god, this is hilarious. Whoa. Gosh. There are a lot of people just waiting to come in, man. Oh, he's going back. He doesn't want to get closer. Right, thankfully, I had enough arrows, and I also still had like a bunch of reserve arrows. But anyways, yeah, this is the weirdest fucking thing ever, man. Someone in Japan was just like, "What if you hit the head a lot? It falls off. You can play with it." Like what? Imagine how that meeting went. Yeah, yeah, man. We'll just leave it there after the boss and uh, they'll be able to play with it or something. <laughs> I don't think there's a single use for this head after, like, there's nothing cool that you can do other than this. At least not that I know of. You can just try to, like, drop it into the abyss. <laughs> yeah, cool. Great soul embraced. Alright, so, um, I don't think there's that many items we're gonna want to get from here. Oh, that's the door open, and there's like a side door that opens when you get the soul or whatever. Yeah! I remember that the first time that I killed the boss, I totally, like, forgot to grab the soul. Because it doesn't look like usually you just get the soul when you kill the boss. You don't have to do anything, right? In here, you actually have to loot it, and it looks different. Like, it looks like your, um... It looks like your your corpse souls, but instead of green, is red. And I, it's, I don't know. It's it, it wasn't my first instinct to pick it up, and I just completely missed it until, like, later on when I was like, Oh, shit. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Cross of urn. Shucks! Yeah, I don't think there's that many items here that we... Want. At least I don't recall there being anything specifically useful. Radiant life champs, just stupid items. I think there's another one. Oop, almost fell and died. Behind here? No. It's like behind some pillar. If I remember correctly. I might have to do some jumping. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is probably freaking suicide. But all the same. I'm a crazy motherfucker. No, I guess not. Weird. Alright, we can head back. Look at freaking... Was it a movement again? I don't remember his name anymore. It's been a while. Jeez. Alright, so I think this is one of those areas that also changes. I think we're gonna fight something else here. Outside of the Duke, of course. The Duke will always be the Duke. I like that he's a hollow, but he doesn't look like a hollow necessarily. Like, he still has his beard, he looks kind of... Well, his skin is not, like, dark or whatever. Uh, friggin' Branch of you are cool. I think that's it from here, right? All right, I think there's a new enemy here here if I remember correctly, but I don't Like I'm not gonna fight the pursuer or anything right No. Oh, you know what? I think it was in new game plus yeah in new game plus there's a new enemy here like a freaking massive Ball it's like a I guess it's like a tree I guess if you think about it But like a massive tree that takes over the entire place and you get to kill it or something. It's weird it's very Oh, no, there it is. There it is. I was wondering where it was. Okay, it's like Nito. Kind of, but instead of skulls, it's like a tree. 
Oh, look, it's a face here. Oh, God, that is so weird! Bury me to the end. 